YouTube land! And welcome back to Chaos Asylum. I'm in a cute green room. Uh, yeah. So, tonight is Monday Night Raw, and it's the night after the Royal Rumble. Let's see what happens. So, we kick off the show with the WWE Universal Champion, Kevin Owens, that retained last night because of Braun Strowman. And the United States Champion, Chris Jericho, his buddy. And they're coming out there talking about how he retained the championship last night and how Jericho set a record of like almost five hours and complete the whole time he's been in the Royal Rumble, all the times he's been in there. Um, of course, you know, they're just blabbing their mouth. And then Strowman comes out. He's like, hey, there's two things I want to say to you, boy. He's like, yeah, I didn't do it for you. <laughs> I just don't like Roman Reigns and this. And he pointed to the Titan Tron. And uh, <clears throat> Kevin Owens told Strowman that he would give him an opportunity at the Universal Championship after Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. So they say, no, 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 I didn't, no, no, um, 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 so he's freaking out. Mick Foley comes out. He's like, now I know why Braun Strowman did it. He's like, tonight it will be Braun Strowman taking on Kevin Owens for the WWE Universal Championship. And he's like, no, no, I've been through hell. I've been through, I can't do this, what I went through last night, and then Mick Foley's all like. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, um, he's like, well, I guess you'll be going, doing a round trip and going back to hell tonight. <laughs> so the next match, the first match of the night was Chris Jericho, the United States champion, taking on... Taking on uh, Sami Zayn. So the match starts off slow, then they pick up, and, and there's a couple moves. You know, Jericho comes off the top rope, gets caught pretty much into the blue thunder bomb, kicks out. Uh, a couple attempts at the Hanuva kick, does not succeed. Uh, Jericho tries for the uh, walls of Jericho, then he gets out of that. Sami Zayn does. And then finally, Exploder into the corner, Hanuva kick. One, two, three. Sami Zayn wins. Your thoughts. My thoughts is a really good match and everything. My prediction for the main event is going to be Berman, Braun Strowman versus Ken Owens for the WWE Universe title. Braun Strowman is about to win and Roman Reigns comes out and screws him. Dan it. Dan it. Dan it. Dan it. Dan it. Okay, pretty much what happened was there's just a lot of promos going on. They showed Seth Rollins and Triple H pretty much when he first portrayed the Shield. Won Money in the Bank, won the world title, held it, got injured, came back, got screwed over by Triple H. And then he went over to take over Network. Take over Network. I mean, take over Dallas um, and took over the show. Uh, oh, then we had Cesaro, Sheamus in the back talking about, you know, how, like... Cesaro was going to swing Sheamus, and how, uh, Cesaro, and how Sheamus was going to eliminate Cesaro from the Royal Rumble. And uh, how uh, there's going to be a six-man tag match tonight, but it's a mixed tag. It's Bailey, Cesaro, and Sheamus taking on the new WWE Tag Team Champions of Raw, the club, Pute Gallows, and Carl Underpants. I mean, yeah, um, and, and Charlotte. <clears throat> okay. So the premier athlete, Tony, whatever, niece, or whatever the hell his name is, yeah, uh, was taking on Ali. Now, Ali was kicking his butt, let's be honest. It was a typical cruiserweight match. Where there was, like, of course, you know, high-flying moves off the top rope, flips from the middle rope, flips from the top uh, of the rope, uh, arm drags, drop kicks, all kinds of nifty stuff. But in the end, Ali went to the top to do a, revert, a, a reverse... 450 splash, but Nice knocked him off, did this running knee to the face in the corner. One, two, three, and he wins the match. And then Austin Aries is and reason at the top and says, pretty much, fuck you, critics. I'm not going to say shit to you. Yeah, pretty much, it's an amazing match for Cruiserweight Division. And the only one I don't really care for is Jack Gallagher. Gallagher. So, pretty much. 
Seth Rollins and Stephanie were going face to face. We come back from commercial break. Seth Rollins is out in the ring saying that pretty much he described everything pretty much about him going to NXT and going there. And he's like, you know what? Let's not get this going any further. Let's get Stephanie out here. Stephanie comes out. She runs her mouth. She's like, you're not going to... You're not gonna get me all riled up with your childish antics, and then you know Cecil like, well, disappointed, huh? You mean like how you disappoint your husband every night? Oh, burn! Um, so they just keep talking, and she's like, you're not, you can't measure up the Triple H. You, you call yourself what, the architect? He's a king, and he will destroy you. And Seth's like, well, and she, he's like, well, technically I have nothing to lose. Let's do this. And then Seth's like, well, you know what? You fine. You want it? You got it. He's coming tonight. Yes, very intense. <laughs> Pretty much, we had a six-man, six-man. Uh, how would you put this bill? A six-man. Uh, there you go. Thank you. A six-man mixed tag match, and it consisted of uh, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and Charlotte, all three champs. Versus Sheamus, Cesaro, and Bailey, and the cool thing was like Charlotte got in a match, and then she tagged out real quick, and uh, then uh, who was it? Cesaro got in and started dominating a little bit, did some uppercuts, punches, you know, and um, let me think here. Took him a little while to to uh, 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 get out, so that they pretty much you know beat up on. Start off for a little bit. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson finally got Sheamus in. He started beating him up, and then God. Uh, and uh, pretty much Bailey got in. Some kind of got sidetracked, and then she did the Bailey to Belly, and got the match won. So Cesaro, Sheamus, and. Bailey won, and then we went to the back where there was uh, Stephanie and what's her name? Stephanie and Mick Foley, and they were talking about Triple H and how funny, like legit, uh, like he's like, oh, well, Triple H, it's kind of funny. Triple H's music played last night, uh, last week, and nobody was there, and um, and. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Next, next, like, well, I hope Triple H does show up tonight. And then up next, I believe they said the coronation of Neville, since he won the, the Cruiserweight Championship, is up next. Your thoughts? Really interesting route tonight. Yes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> good. Pretty much, it came to uh, King Neville's title thing and whatnot and pretty much came out on top and pretty much the Brock Lesnar the cruiserweight champion of the cruiserweight division and Rich Swanson the guy that dances and <laughs> pretty much said I don't have to like you but I have to respect you every time we're in a ring together and everything so there's, there's definitely going to be a rematch happening with that and the reason why I had him do it because I had to take the dog out and I missed that. So there we go. So we go into the back and we see that pretty much what is her name? Sasha Banks is getting her leg taped up because she re injured it again. And she's legit wanting revenge on Nia Jax. Nia Jax because of like the beating she got. And Bailey came back there and said, Well, you need to stop. Okay, Laser. Uh, and whatnot. Did she say those and uh, uh, and then pretty much she said, I have to prove myself. Even, uh, nobody, Everybody else says I ha don't have to. I do. And then we go into the back with Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. And they're talking about the main event. Well, I thought it was the main event, but it's like 9.50. So the whole, I believe, Triple H, Seth Rollins thing is going to happen. Um, and he's pretty much like, oh my god, Mick Foley's just getting some sick pleasure out of make me defend my title. And he's freaking out. He's like, Jericho, you got my back right. He's like, y y yeah, I guess. Uh, and they were freaking out, and it was hilarious. So here we go. The Universal Championship match is up next. Braun Strowman taking on Kevin Owens for the Universal title. So the Universal title match went down, and Braun Strowman was destroying Kevin Owens. Now, Kevin Owens did get a couple moves in. 
He got a combination of like legit a drop kick. Drop kick him out of the ring. Uh, they got back in uh, and whatnot. They were outside the ring and then Braun Strowman like legit ran and plowed into uh, what's his name? Uh, Braun Strowman plowed into Kevin Owens and then uh, into the barricade and then tried it again on the steel post and then he moved and Uh, and, uh, oh, got my head. And then pretty much got back in the ring, and then he did, like, this spinning leg drop to the back of Braun Strowman's head, and then the senton bomb, and then a frog splash got a two, Braun got back up, started destroying him again, uh, and then he did that power slam, Roman Reigns came out, jumped in the ring, Superman punched Braun Strowman, uh, and then he fell out of the ring, and then, uh, another Superman punch, <laughs> and then uh, he did a, a spear. He ran off the. Uh, uh, he he ran off of the steps and did a spear to Braun Strowman. Got in a ring and speared Kevin Owens and walked away. And now a vehicle pulled up and it is Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar just arrived. And Billy was right. He called that. Yes. Just like I said about the thirty year Universal title match. Yep. Billy beat Lee's ass. <laughs> well, Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman come out and they talk about how... Uh, and they talk about how pretty much Lesnar got eliminated by Brock and embarrassed again, just like how he got embarrassed at... Oh, what pay-per-view was that when they faced off? Not, not the Royal Rumble, but... Uh, shit. Yeah, he beat him again in like a minute something, which is crazy. Uh... And how? Uh, and then pretty much he just pretty much was going through a list of things like, what if, 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 what if? And they pretty much laid a challenge down to Goldberg for WrestleMania. What is your reaction to Goldberg wanting to? I mean, Brock Lesnar wanting to face Goldberg at WrestleMania? No, actually, no surprise. Yeah, you know, cheerfully see that coming. Mile away. Pretty much mile away. Yeah. There we go. So the next match that happened was Nia Jax taking on Sasha Banks, and pretty much let's just say Sasha Banks destroyed. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Nia, Nia Jax destroyed Sasha Banks. And she put the submission move on, um, Naya, Naya put the submission move on Becky, oh my god, I got Becky and fucking Charlotte on my fucking head, uh, and everybody, uh, on Banks, and legit, she didn't tap out, but the bell rang, and, uh, the ref's like, oh, what? So there's some miscommunication there, and then the ref's like, you know what, whatever, and he got Naya off her, and then legit, she, uh, just went ahead. And, uh, you know, she put the move back on her. Bailey came out and got her off her. And then, yeah, there we go. Bailey, your thoughts? My thoughts is yeah. the women's revolution is definitely, you know, been <laughs> revolving and everything. But I was kind of curious since Mick and James returned, I wonder who else is going to return. Right. 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 So there's a match between Big Kaz and Enzo Amore and <laughs> uh, the handsome Rusev and Jinder Mahal. Uh, of course, you know, they dominated for a little while. And then, of course, they did the, their tag finish, one, two, three, and pretty much Big Kaz and Enzo won. Big limo just pulled up, and we believe it is Triple H. They're opening the door, and it is... Triple H is here, ladies and gentlemen. Goldberg is going to answer Brock Lesnar's challenge for WrestleMania. So, pretty much Triple H comes out. And he's talking about how he brought, uh, pretty much, Seth Rollins. And he was the first ever NXT champion. And then he came up to Raw. And he pretty much handed the world title to Seth Rollins on a silver platter. And then the world just came crashing down on Seth Rollins. And he broke, and pretty much jacked up his leg and whatnot. And he came back and then he just decided to throw everything in Triple H's face. And he's like, he's like, uh, my wife told me not to come here and whatnot. And, but I did anyways. I'm trying so hard to legit 
not do this, but he's like, I hate putting on this tie and this suit and having to go down and make the next Seth Rollins in the next tee. He's like, you want to fight? Come on out, Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins comes out. He comes down the rampway. And out of nowhere, who blindsides Seth Rollins? Samoa Joe. So he's beating the crap out of uh, Seth Rollins, throwing him into the barricade a couple times, throws him into the ring. Triple H walks away, puts his coat back on. Uh, Seth gets a couple punches in, and then Joe gets a heel spin heel kick in, and then uh, pretty much beats him up a little bit. Puts a coquita clutch on him, knocks him out, and Raw ends. So there we go. That's how what Raw went. <clears throat> That's pretty much how we all went. Did you like it? Did you think it sucked? Leave it in the comments below. And I'd like to say hello to all the new subscribers out there. And welcome to the Chaos Asylum. So like I always say, share this video. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. And if you haven't done already, smash that subscribe button. Later. Later. <laughs> Later.